I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. And hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to Missile Dine Online in our continuing playthrough of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We, of course, are playing on Insanity Difficulty as an adept Commander Cory Shepard, the sole survivor of Akuz, the colonist who grew up on Menduar and saw her family destroyed by Batarian slavers. In the last episode, we arrived here on Eden Prime. We lost Jenkins, of all people. And now we are pursuing Nihilus to see what's going on here. The Geth are attacking. Ashley Williams here filled us in that the dig site is gone. The Prothean Beacon was taken. It's not here anymore. It's supposed to be right there and it's gone. We, in this episode, are going to find out what happened to it. And I think you're going to see there's a lot going on. Mass Effect really opens up from here on out. Anyways, there's something big that I want to show you guys. This is actually a new character. Yeah, I know. Which is why this video is so late. But you wouldn't know that if you're watching in the future. The point is, uh, we actually went, and I'll have a trophy guide actually out for this. They have reduced the amount that you need to use skills to get certain trophies. And when you are able to complete all of those things and use that command, that, that ability enough, you actually unlock the ability to create a new character from that point forward that you can choose a bonus ability. So if we go ahead and look at our new Corey Shepard here, we now have electronics actually on our shepherd ourselves. And I went ahead and uh, you can check out my other video, which is going to be a trophy guide on how to do this. But I went and got all of the engineering abilities unlocked. And by putting in uh, electronics on our adept shepherd, we are now able to use the ability overload. That's cool and all, but it's not why we chose electronics. We chose electronics because it increases the strength of our shields and it increases the amount of hull restored when we repair our vehicle, which is a really big deal. It also yet lets us use the electronic skill to buy a repair or bypass objects, which will you'll be seeing a lot of. That's why we put so many points into Caden. So I just want to point that out that that's what we're doing. That's why it's there. So yeah, is that cheating? No, not really, because it's so easy to unlock those. And if you don't believe me, look at the eye in the upper right hand corner of the screen you can click on that video and i'll show you a very very easy way in less than an hour and a half to get all of the tech abilities upgraded you could do the same thing if you're playing an engineer right now as your main character you can actually do the same by making an adept and unlocking and doing it it works both ways so think about that so we're going to continue with a little bit more perfect of a shepherd at least that's what i think nihilus also told us at the end of the last episode that he was up here in a spaceport good place for an ambush keep your guard up okay you got it so continuing forward oh my god that's gross oh god they're still alive what what did the geth do to them introducing the husk enemy the geth don't just kill their uh their victims they turn them into these mindless husks that will run at you and try to kill you. They don't use guns or anything like that, but they will actually explode if they get near you. So we don't want that to happen. It's actually very easy when they do get near you and they explode like that. You can actually run up and just melee them and it'll knock them down and then you can kill them when they're on the ground. It's super, super easy to deal with them. But I wanted to show you, husks are enemies that you will be dealing with throughout your Mass Effect journey. They are in every single game. As long as there are geth, there are husks. So keep that in mind. Now, right up here, we have a upgrade kit that we can grab. It's kind of hidden in the in the grass. But more than that, we have these little, I, I don't even, canisters, shacks, whatever you want to call them, with two crates inside. That's going to help us out pretty nicely. But finally, for the first time, I can show you why we've been putting points into Cadence uh, electronics and decryption skills. Because this right here is easy decryption. We can use decryption. We can actually open this up. By repeating the sequence, it's it's very easy. This used to be much cooler, uh, but now you just you just kind of hit the buttons as they light up and you open the door, and that will allow us to see what's inside. Humans, thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. No, don't worry about it. You're safe. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Doctor Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. 
When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one's nice. saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What does that mean? What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Yeah, we're cool like that. You're Did welcome. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He could have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Huh. What about the beacon? Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. Manuel might have, you know, a, maybe listen to him. Just a little bit, but what's what's, what's wrong, wrong with, with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. That's true. Tell Is me it about madness it. To see the future, to see the destruction rushing towards us, to understand there is no escape, no hope. No, I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Now you. This is your first big renegade action of the entire game. If you wanted to take it, you can shut him up. Williams. I don't know if we want to do point. that. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. But who would I be if I didn't show you the option? Is inevitable. Time to shut you up, Manuel. The darkness is coming. The end is near. You can't. Oh my God! What did you do? I that punched. That was a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. Nah, he's better it off. It was only a matter of time till he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. I love how they're like, "Yeah, okay, you're right. You actually get plus nine renegade for punching Manuel out." Yes. So, is there just something you need? Just want to point that out. Moving. Good luck, Commander. Anyways, I'm gonna load that back up because I don't I don't want to punch him in the face. That ain't me. Look at that. He's totally fine. What are you talking about? Let's get on out of here. We're gonna skip those nine renegade points. We don't need them. We don't need them at all. And let's continue on in our pursuit of Nihilus. Hopefully we can find him out here. Oh, there he is. Sarah. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Oh no. Not another one. Nihilus! Now remember, you can. What are you talking about? You're talking about that right there? You can completely miss that, by the way. But I was going to go ahead and say that you can talk to your squad mates, and I recommend doing that just so you can learn a little bit more about them. Man, that noise, it's gone. Now we have another battle area right in front of us. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up a bit here. And we'll have some Geth and Husk here waiting for us. There we go, one Geth trooper down. 
There should be a husk right over here. We'll make sure that we take him down as soon as we can. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now remember, watch your health. Make sure you don't drop too low. Always use a meta gel. Shields will respawn. So that's why electronics is so good because we can kind of take that damage as an adept and not, you know, not be the end of the world for us. Because it is very, very quick uh, how some things can just end. So let's actually use Overload our first time using it. And that will eliminate shields, which is so strong on an Adept. But we're not done just yet. There's even more that we can get. Right here, we can find a crate that has an Omni Gel and a grenade in it. And then back up here, there is a malfunctioning object that we can grab before we proceed any further, which has a pistol, the Striker 1. Now, before you continue too far, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you put points into either Intimidate or Charm, however you want to play, before you end up using this door control here. Trust me, you're going to want it. And you'll see why. It actually pays Everybody dividends right away. There. We're coming out. We're not armed. It's literally it already Are out. They gone? Um... They're gone, but it's we took not care safe. Of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Hmm. What happened? Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. Yeah, and it could be a big deal, but what about that what ship? What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. What? It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Poor guy. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. And this is when your charm or intimidate is going to come in in real handy. Me, Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You know, smuggling's a crime. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. I just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. And right here, this blue text up here, is that all means that we have a high enough charm skill to use something else and we'll get something pretty good out of it. Or down here, this would be red, you're holding out on me. Uh, but we don't have a high enough intimidate. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to say, is that all? We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was going to sell it after this was over, but probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. And we get another one right away, which is going to give us yet another item in just a little bit. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. Great. That's all we can get from this guy. Go. Good luck. Yeah, good luck to you guys. I hope you survive. We get a Stinger 2 pistol, which is actually a very good pistol for this point of the game, and a weapon upgrade uh, for getting that, that extra charm that we were able to do there. Right here, we get a storage locker because we have electronics, both on Caden and ourselves. We can just go ahead and grab that. Again, this is so worth doing. We get another pistol and medium armor, which we can pick up, and XP, which... That's, that's, I mean, that's why it's worth it. You know what I mean? Why it's worth it. So you can talk to these guys again, the farmers that are on the side of Cole. They're not going to say much. They're just going to kind of let you know. Cole's the one that actually gives you a dialogue tree. And that's all that we can get down here. 
you'll notice it feels like there should be other things like i don't know maybe it's my gamer sense tingling but i feel like there should be something hidden over there and over there but there isn't instead there's oh no that's nihilus come on it's nihilus i i just said that but before that we got a loot man we can grab a meta gel there and then in the fire here we can grab radioactive rounds and anti-personnel rounds Let's go ahead and actually equip the new pistol that we got as well. The Stinger 2. We're going to go ahead and put radioactive rounds on that. And um, we can put two weapon upgrades on here. So we're also going to do combat sensors. Some enemies use jamming technology to block your weapon radar. Combat scanner upgrade improves detection levels or heat sink. We're going to go with heat sink so that we can use our pistol a little bit more. And then let's go ahead and... Uh, equip it. Perfect. Now, look look how strong that is compared to what we just had. Ooh, beautiful. Love it. Poor Nihilus, man. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. Did you kill him? Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I, I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. Oh, man. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Okay, but the mission. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up. Then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. The guests didn't How find you? you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. <laughs> you you and me both, dude. I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? Lucky. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Now, before we do, Cole mentioned you, which is an extra thing that we have now because of Tell the charm the that we used attack. earlier. We're quick. so charming. One minute that ship was descending, the next, those geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Jeez. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. It is perfect timing that we got here then. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It, it was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down and it was making this noise this this sound that bored right into your brain that's what woke me up the attack came a few minutes later and cole mentioned you You're cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring what no i mean what does it matter now so i'm a smuggler who cares my supervisor's dead. The entire crew's dead. Doesn't matter now, does it? Yeah, but you might have something Anything that I need. nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch. We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Give them to me. Just give me the grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. 
Oh, but we get yet another charm or intimidate option. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. All right. Good luck, Cole. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Yeah, I probably would. This probably isn't safe. And we get a high explosive grenade upgrade, which we can equip immediately onto our grenades. Make sure that they are awesomely strong. This is just, it's just going to make your grenades better. There's no downside to that upgrade at all. And right away, we're going to have to deal with some good old geth. I did not mean to pull that out. Let me go ahead and put my stinger back on. Look at how strong that pistol is. Absolutely shrekin' here. We'll go ahead and use warp on this. Whew. Smoked him. We have two more. Now, they actually changed this. You used to be able to attack these from up here, and they wouldn't actually be able to aggro you, but that's now changed in this version of the game, believe it or not. I can't believe they'd make it so much harder. We'll go ahead and pop that real quick. That killed both of them, if you saw that. We'll go ahead and see if we can drop... Yeah, there's some more dead. You'll see that there's actually a Geth Destroyer. We haven't seen one of these before coming right at us. But that's why we're going to go ahead and throw him. I got hit hard. Oh, God. Whoa, Metagel. That rocket hit me right in the face. Finishing off the Destroyer. 18 experience. We want to continue on here. There's more down. Wait for our shields to come back just a bit. See if we can actually shield boost. Perfect. We do have a medical kit that we can open right here. Another Death Trooper. Not using cover. Being brave. Let's go ahead and overload. So close to killing him in one hit. Look at how many Geth there are now. Probably the first time. I mean, it is the first time. That we've really had to deal with this many geths. So we're going to go ahead and cast Barrier here. And then just run up and knock him down. And he's dead. What up? Yeah, this is... This is uh, this can be a pretty hard part on Insanity, actually. The game kind of gets easier after Eden Prime on Insanity. Uh, so if you are struggling, if you're playing on the hardest difficulty and you're struggling right now... Uh, don't stress too hard. It will be... It, will, it gets easier once you start getting those points into stuff and... You'll have a good time. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Not under my... What? Not under my... Not... Uh, over my dead butt! That's what I was trying to say. Whoa. Colonies do not get destroyed when Commander Corey Shepard is on the scene. And as soon as we get off of this train here, we will see that there is a demolition charge. Demolition All you charges. have to do the Geth must have planted them. is walk Hurry. up to them, we hit X, to them all and, shut them down. and you'll disarm it. And then they kind of have a trick here. They have another way that you can go. You can run all the way across here. We're not going to do that. It's actually easier if you head this way first towards where there's another charge. We'll go ahead and run. And we can get our second one done. Now, you'll notice in the lower right-hand corner, we have three charges remaining. Make that two charges with four minutes and 30 seconds left. And the get are right here, right on our butts. We'll go ahead and take care of those two. But we have even more coming up. Like I said... This is going to be a pretty combat-heavy area. Right here, we have the new Geth Shock Troopers that will fire uh, like little rocket grenade things at us. You just saw one fly on the corner of the screen. We'll go ahead and disarm this one here. Four minutes remaining. Let's go ahead and overload. And let's go ahead and use warp on that one. Woo! 
go ahead and use that meta gel. Now, you'll notice our scanner is jammed. That's actually because there is a Geth sniper sitting right here. I'm going to head up here. Geth sniper is going to pop out. We're going to go ahead and use throw. And it is dead. We have one more trooper left right around the corner. We're going to go ahead and use... Uh, can we use... Can we use throw his throw from there? Yeah, we can. And done. Let's go ahead and grab this item here from the crates. We get Hurricane Scimitar and Gladiator. That's our first piece of heavy armor that we've received. And uh, what are you doing, Kaden? Kaden, what are you... Kaden, what are you doing? They're not even... They're... It, bruh. Anyways, we have our last, our last one that we can disarm here. Easy peasy. They give you five minutes, but you can do this super quickly, even on Insanity. Three minutes left. No, we weren't in a rush at all. There's no items here, even though it would look like there is. There's no items that we can get uh, on that side of the platform, but there's more down here. You'll see that we have two enemies left just hanging out. Guest troopers and Hus by the sound of it. Let's go ahead and warp them. We have another trooper here. Let's go ahead and melee them. Call that a day. Hus behind you, Ashley. Don't worry, I got your back, girl. And a Hus behind us. I got my own back. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And that, my friends, is the last enemies that we can find here on Eden Prime. Eden Prime, the first world that you can go to. Really, the tutorial of the entire game is now pretty much done. All that remains is the Prothean beacon sitting right over there but we don't want to grab that just yet because there is some items that we can grab including some experience points look at the prothean beacon kind of ominous in a weird way so if we come over here we have a easy storage locker easy decryption let's go ahead and override this real quick and all you have to do as always is just mash those buttons we get fusion explosive avenger and hurricane now, it is worth grabbing all of this because you do want to sell it as well. There's some pretty good trophies. Nothing up here whatsoever, so let's head on back down. And we have another locker at the far end here that we'll need to use um, decryption or electronics on. And we'll be able to get what we need. So let's go over here. And it's decryption. See, see what I mean? This is why you want to have those abilities leveled and ready to go. High caliber barrel and another mod. Now that we're done, let's go ahead and check out this Prothean Beacon. Oh, wait, there's a one more crate right here. I almost missed that one. With 30 moolahs. Hmm. Whoa. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. The 
This human must be eliminated. Who would have thought that the half-mechanical Turian guy is aligned with synthetics and is evil? Shocked. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? For super hungover. Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Ah, it's you not your no fault. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Oh, that's I nice appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Oh, that was no dream. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I just kind of feel bad about what happened with Jenkins. I don't Jenkins. like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Yeah, but it wasn't not my did fault either, Did we leave Gunnery you know? Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Introducing Lieutenant and welcome. agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. To our permanent crew squad mate, Ashley Williams. But I'm pretty pissed off about Intel the guest. dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Yeah. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. Yeah, we got nothing to hide. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He hates humans? Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Yeah, I had a vision of some kind. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? Warning. I saw synthetics. Gath, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we... What? What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Yeah, you're right. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. 
He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. There you have it. The mission of Mass Effect 1. Take down the rogue Spectre, Saren. But before we do that, we now have access to the Normandy. And we can explore it as much as we want. Well, sort of. Right over here, we can actually refill our Medigel anytime we want. And we receive a new Codex entry for going ahead and doing that. Now, something that's really cool to me. I haven't played as a female Shep before, as I said in the first episode. And I've only I've only played as male Shep. And the person that gets targeted by the beacon and then rescued by Shep when you play with the male Shepherd is actually Ashley. So it was kind of cool to see. I've never seen that before. It was Caden instead. Uh, right here we can grab a Hurricane and a Reaper from there and 12 XP. And normally, if you're if you're well not normally, but if you're a male Shep, it's actually Ashley standing here ready to talk to you, not Caden. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew and. I'm glad we didn't lose you too. So you can choose any of these options here, but we're going to go with how are you holding up? Because if you don't choose that one uh, first, you won't Things be able to do it. Down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. Yeah, but I only did that because I had you and Williams. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. <laughs> Jenkins, man. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. Yeah, you seem to know a lot you about that, though, dude. Situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. He made it proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? Uh, not quite. My family were homesteaders on Mindwar. I'm the only one left. But I've moved beyond that. Oh, that's right, a coos. I imagine that bought you any post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? The captain hopes the ambassador can get an audience with the council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. That's true. But you know what's interesting? I don't think we were supposed to tell you any of that because that's not why, you know, that's not why, that's not why we had it. Then, of course, we can talk to Dr. Chakwas yes, here. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Yeah, I kind of want to know a little bit more about Caden Alenko. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Wow. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What's that? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. You know, in the first episode, I said that I was a biotic with an L5, and I forgot that only L3 is really what's used right now. So we, we just have a, a really awesome prototype. That's all. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Yeah, migraines can suck, though. Hey, what do you know about Captain Anderson? What do you know about Captain Anderson? Hey, don't copy I've me. I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. Anderson's a good guy. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. 
Do you have any regrets? Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. I should go. Goodbye, It's very nice of you. Now, something to keep in mind is that if you are trying to do the, the trophy uh, spam that you can do very early in the game, like the, the other video that I've done, the trophy guide, uh, it is, you do have to do all this. You do have to talk to everybody and, and make sure that you get that information ready to go. So let's talk to you, Ashley, I'm as well. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. Um, yeah, but that has nothing to You're do with you. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Yeah, way to make it about you, though. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. Yeah, but you and Elenko helped. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're going to fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I like that little bit of a flirt we had there. So over here is Captain Anderson's quarters. Uh, he won't actually say anything to us except for that Joker's Joker waiting for us. Ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. We will have a little bit more in there later on. We just don't have it yet. So, like I said, you want to pick up all of the codex entries you possibly can, especially right now, so that you can get as high level as you possibly can before we leave the next area. It's super, super important, trust me. You want those Intimidate and Charms as much points as you can, or else we just lose access to a lot of different things. So we don't want to, we don't want that. Anyways, we can check out this truck right here, the Mako. That is going to be oh, super prevalent in Mass Effect 1. We'll be in it all the time. Over here, you can actually equip any of your party members. It looks like we're going to get four more at some point. You got Caden's Locker and Ashley's Locker, so you don't have to put them in your active squad to actually do that. And we can run down here to check out the engineering bay. This is where we saw Engineer Adams was earlier. We can pick up the Field Integrity Monitor Codex, as well as the Element Zero Core. Element Zero is something that is super important to the world of Mass Effect, uh, so be sure to check out that Codex. Engineer Adams. Yeah, I know. Poor Jenkins. I really uh, thought he was going places, you know? And right over here, there's actually a vendor that we can talk to. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. What? Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of product. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And anytime we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever it's I can. It's a little fourth wall breaking, but Check I'll take back it. Often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Now, we're not going to buy not anything right now, from him please. right now. No problem. But that is something Check to keep in mind. Anytime you go to a new place, a new port, anything like that, you want to make sure that you buy any licenses that are available from the vendors there. That will allow you to get more and better items from the requisition officer on the Normandy, and you'll be spending most of the game, a lot of the game, on the Normandy. It's our central hub point. These elevators are so fast nowadays. Anyways, we want to head up these stairs to where we started the game. Right up on the navigation deck. The bridge, if you will. We can come back here into the communications room. We weren't able to grab this before, but right here is the faster-than-light comlink 
we can grab that, maybe get a better understanding of how we're able to send communications all the way across space. Navigator Presley's hanging out here Glad as well. You're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Tell me about it. I had to watch him die. Right here, we can grab the Nav Manual 1.4.1 Codex and 12 Experience. Like I said, it is worth grabbing those at any time that you possibly can. And there are no Codex entries left that we can grab here. Right up there, this is the airlock. This will come in useful later, to keep that in mind. Joker. We can talk to Joker to head to the capital of the galaxy, the Citadel. The Citadel being where every race of this, of this game pretty much is hanging out. But we're not going to head to there in this episode. It's long enough. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. We tackled the rest of Eden Prime. We tried to recover the beacon, but ultimately failed. But we found our purpose, whatever this vision was that we had. And of course, tracking down Saren and trying to stop him from, from unleashing the Geth on the galaxy and wiping humanity off the face of the galaxy. The, gal the galaxy in the next episode we will go to the citadel and it's going to be side quest central time we're going to get as much experience as we possibly can so that we can get the best shepherd that we possibly can thank you guys for watching the video especially to use watching in the premieres every single day around 2 p.m eastern i sincerely appreciate you guys and i love hanging out and chatting with you uh in in the in the live chat that that has also i'm looking for feedback on this series so if there's anything that you are loving about it or hating about it make sure to leave it in the comments and like Likes really do help out these videos, so thank you guys so much. Also, I want to say a huge shout out to those on patreon.com slash missile online. Without you guys, this series wouldn't be a thing. Thank you, I love you, and remember, never give up, never surrender to Saren. Bye, everyone.